Hey buddy Crow back again and the same day I got that stern book in the mail I got something else in the mail in fact I teased this at the end of that video but I uh I, that's why I opened the box up but what we have here is the Atari VCS wireless classic joystick and um let's see I had to go back in time and try to figure out the whole timeline of this thing and by the way I may have to end this video anytime because I'm expecting visitors so if there's a cut excuse that but um I had to look up online and I made a note when the, they did this on Indiegogo for the Atari VCS I think back then I don't remember if it was it was called the Atari box before that but I don't know if they changed the name while it was on Indiegogo and I think Atari box is a better name but because the Atari VCS is to me, otherwise known as the Atari 2600. Anyway, um, I was trying to figure out the point of the thing, you know, the VCS. I, I was something that I don't think, it didn't think was for me, uh, especially at the price. I wasn't willing to put down the, the money for the device, just to experiment with it. But I did see one thing that I liked in that whole campaign. I was like, hey, I wonder if I could just get that joystick. That joystick looks kind of cool. And sure enough, you could do that. So I funded it at like, $30 or something like that just for the joystick and I figured well I don't know if this thing will actually come out or when it'll come out because again this campaign ended in like June 2018 and um, they had promised like shipping stuff by December 2019 but as with almost every crowdfunded thing that needs to be built it never met that date so it's like 95% of stuff that's not built <laughs> when they kickstart it or fund it, uh, crowdfund it, it winds up being delayed a year or so. And so this was delayed a year. I've, I've funded things that are multiple years out and I still haven't got it yet. So this actually wasn't bad time. If you take that into consideration, yeah, it was late. But uh, yeah, here we have it all shrink wreck, the uh, Atari VCS. My, no, I just wanted this because I was thinking, hey, I might just be able to plug this into a computer and play Atari games or something on this. And that was even before I realized that the knob on this was a paddle. So let's just open this up. And again, I don't think $30 was a bad price for this. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was more than $30, but for some reason the number 30 is uh, dancing around in my mind. All right, so it's after I've actually filmed everything I was gonna film, and I realized that I didn't really show the box off that well. So I'm inserting this footage in now from my handy cell phone so here we go atari vcs wireless class controller atari here we go uh engineered in partnership with power a atari's iconic game controller is reborn as the new atari vcs classic controller with features like rumble led light effects and a second fire button to give retro gaming new life and uh yeah it is made by power a and um oh, let's go here what I wanted to point out here, I mean, it does say here that it comes with a USB charge and play cable. And also here, Bluetooth, wireless, rechargeable for PC mobile gaming featuring rumble and LED light effects compatible with most PC and Android systems. And uh, to spoil a little bit what's coming up in the video, I did mainly try this out on my computer. It did work. I also tried it out on an, it, what's not in the video and that I did afterwards is I tried it on my Android tablet and it worked with that as well. So let's continue on with the video already in progress. Well, I'm lying. I paused the video. Let's just uh, cut the things here. And yeah, I just didn't get the, um, the whole premise of the VCS. Why would I pay $400 for something to just hook up to a TV to play stuff that I could play elsewhere? So, oh, look at that. It's, uh, take the slip cover out. There's a little asteroids little thing on the top there. Uh, Atari VCS. So even this box is nice. It's, this really does have um, like a premium feel product to it so far. In the, it, so I, I will give it that. Even though I don't understand, um, let's just say the Atari VCS, the new one, I don't think is for me. But if it were like $200, uh, $300 cheaper, I would consider it. <laughs> Let's just say that. So, oh well, yeah, we opened it up. We got nice padding up here. We got the joystick kind of sitting up there. Uh, looks like we got a quick start. Hold. Oh, so it tells you how to pair it. So this is wireless as well. My computer doesn't have Bluetooth built in. So, like, I don't know if they haven't built it to the motherboard or not, but I have a dongle, so maybe I could do that. Um, 
Let's just pull that out. It comes with the joystick and it comes with a um, no paper manual, which is fine, which is fine. As long as they've printed stuff on the box, I'm fine with that. And, and you really need a long instruction manual for a controller? I don't think so. So, man, this has really got a premium everything to it because there's like a like a Velcro notch around this thing. Wow. I'm just wondering if it's uh, branded in any way. It is not, but this, this cable does feel pretty hefty, and it's pretty long, too. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you how long this this cable is. This is pretty long. I caught that before it hit the ground. And <laughs> I break it before I even uh, oh, take it out of the shrink wrap. Well, this isn't even shrink wrap, just a wrap. So, yeah, this is what it was all about. So, initial impressions without turning it on. I don't know if this has got, it's got to have some sort of, if this is wireless, it's got to have some sort of charging in there. It's a, looks like it's a micro USB plug in the back there. Oh yeah, the, the lights, the little lights flashing on there. Probably Trump telling me the pair. Oh, even when I, it's got the little lights that illuminate around the corner telling you where, what direction. Looks like it's eight way directional, which is perfectly fine. Little, little knob on the top does twist. We'll have to see how well it, like depending on um yeah I, I didn't know how well that would be because i'm used to like the bigger paddles but this is like a little itty bitty knob oh hitting the button makes all the lights go up <laughs> and as far as i know this is a different button entirely and it does have these little uh rubber sticky things on oh that'll stop it from moving if you put it on a table and that's my mouse pad so even on a yeah on a hard word hard surface and hey, this is really, really quality. This is really is. I mean, it's light, but this is not cheap plastic. I mean, I don't know. Oh, let's turn that on again. Come on. That's it. Like you can just uh, just uh, like if you start tilting it. I mean, it doesn't feel bad at all. Well, initially, and then you've got the little buttons on the bottom and everything. So I don't know if I could just kind of plug this in. I'm going to take the cable, just plug it into the computer and see if it recognizes that. I'm not going to mess with the wireless stuff initially. Because, honestly, the only reason I bought this thing was I was thinking, hey, I could emulate Atari 2600 games and use this joystick and see how that works. So let's... Um, Let's do that. Let's just plug this in and see if it recognizes it right away. Ah, come on. There we go. Let's see what happens. Ah, some detected something. Let's uh, go get, and the lights on now. Let's go to joysticks and see if that shows up. Ah, if I could type properly. Device manager set up USB controllers maybe. There we go. Yeah, okay, so I have this other one. Oh, it, it shows up as classic controller, too. Interesting, because I do have... Um, let's to remove confusion. Let's unplug that. Uh, is this it? Yeah. Because I did have an 8-bit dough. Because I, I normally just plug controllers in. I don't use them wirelessly. So, yeah, this showed up right away. Advanced properties? Yeah. Oh, the dial. It's even got... Oh, wow. It's showing, like, the dial is working. I don't know if you could see that on the screen or not. I wasn't expecting to point the camera at my, my monitor and show stuff off, but this detected it right away, just plugging it right in. Button one, button two, button three. Where's button three? Yeah, this works fantastic right up. One and two, three, four... I mean, I'm sorry, the button that's not showing up is three. I don't know which one three is. Maybe there is no button three. <laughs> but it works. Plugged it in. Didn't have to do nothing. Shows up as classic controller. Now, let's load up LaunchBox. All right, I'm back. I've had time to mess with this a bit. I've actually connected it through Bluetooth, so it is indeed wireless. I... Tested a bunch of stuff out. Um, I had to. I figured out why it wasn't working with Stella. Well, first of all, remember I was testing the buttons. I couldn't figure out what button three is. Well, I totally forgot. It's the uh, 
the sync button up here, the Atari button. That's button three. <laughs> so I did find all five buttons. I'm sure you were yelling at the screen. I was a moron for not realizing that. Apparently it says on here that if I hit these two buttons together, it switches it back and forth between um, joystick mode and Xbox mode, but that didn't seem to be working. That may be something that's only viable on the Atari VCS console itself. But I did get this working with Stella. I'll show that off. I tried it with a whole bunch of different uh, other emulators. I tried it with the Com Vice on Commodore 64 and um, what was it, Altera, I think it's called. And it just seems like I have to go through and, and do a lot of setup. The thing that I couldn't get this to work with was anything on Steam. So maybe that's a bit of work on my end. I mean, the computer definitely detects it and it detects the spinner. And to prove that, let's let's put up on a, a go up and do a Atari 2600 game. I think I've got Stella all set up. The thing with Stella was I didn't have the newest version of Stella. I had an older version of Stella that wasn't detecting this. I installed the newest version and it detected it as a classic controller right away. And I still had to do a bit of setup, but it works. So I'm um, in launch box and I can sort it. What's this? Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, now we're loading. <laughs> and let's try this out here. Now, I should have had this set up for, yep, choosing the game. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, let's go back to one. This should start the game. And there we go. We're off and we're running. So it works. Oh, I guess I should look at the screen, right? <laughs> but you can see it works just fine. Like, this is working. Okay, let's uh, exit. And I, I did this extra button. I didn't want to do it for removing or anything, so I switched it between black and white and color mode, which actually doesn't work for Berserk. But the real test, I mean, you could play this with any joystick or whatever, you know, USB joystick or whatever, but the paddle functionality was what I really wanted to try out. So let's go with one of my favorite games on here and uh, boot up Circus Atari. And uh, this, yeah, see, look at that, twisting it, and you you got the um, your panel controller here. So let's start this up. Oops, whoa, that was close. But yeah, I gotta say, this works great. It certainly is uh, better than using a mouse, because that would be the only other way to play this. Oh, man, doing really bad. But how about another classic um, classic paddle game? Let's go to... Um, I could just type it in, but let's look for Kaboom. And this is what I really wanted this controller for, was emulation for 2600 on a, on a PC. And it's really good to know that, uh, well, at least with the proper setup. I mean, con connecting this to the computer is no problem. It detects it as a classic controller. Let's go. Kaboom. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm stopping myself right there because the footage went on forever, like for at least 30 minutes of me booting up an Atari 2600. Oh, I wonder if this will work. And I tried it. And, oh, I wonder if this will work. And I tried that game and I played this game and I was having issues and I kept going into Stella and fixing everything. So as it stands right now, joystick mode works perfectly with this. I do have a minor issue with Stella that I need to iron out. And that is when I'm in paddle mode. And I figured out one of the things that really helps is to specifically say that, oh, I have paddles. I'm going to use paddles for this game because then it, it kind of acts properly. The, the issue I'm having with paddle games, though, is that when you hold the button down, it acts like auto fire. And I booted up a test cartridge just to see. And yeah, when you hold the button down, it acts like it's rapidly being pushed, but that, I know that's not the case because if you look at um, the, the joystick setup in Windows, it is being held down properly. In joystick games, it is being held down properly. So that's just something that I think is in Stella that I need to update. Either that or maybe there's another driver update for this thing. I don't know. Um, but other than that, everything else worked fine in Stella. 
Um, and I kind of mentioned earlier, I tried this in my, on my tablet and it worked fine. I just hadn't, I didn't get to test out the thing because I hadn't really delved deeply into the settings on the tablet. I just plugged it in. It up popped, said uh, classic controller found. Okay, cool. So because it found it and it does work for the most part, when I say the most part, I didn't really get to test everything out. I didn't really get to test the spinner out on Android, but I'm, I'm certain that it, it would be detected um, because it is being detected on the, the PC. And um, I like I, I think I mentioned, I may have mentioned earlier, I don't know if I edited this part out, but I did try it on Steam. I couldn't get it to detect in Steam, but since it is being detected by Windows, I mean, it's only a matter of time before I figure that out. I'm, I'm not the... I'm not an expert at these things by any stretch of the imagination. And this thing is so new that there's really nothing I can look up for help for at the moment. So you know, it's possible a month or three down the road, you know, all the little quirks will be ironed out. Uh, another thing I'd completely forgotten. I mean, if you can't tell I'm wearing a different shirt, this is a completely different day that I'm filming this. Um, I, I totally forgot to check out was MAME. And I load, booted up main, and joystick games work perfectly in main. I had a little bit more of an issue with uh, games that use a dial. Um, say, like I tried Arkanoid and everything, and I don't know if you noticed it, but when I when it, it detects the joystick the the being turned like a paddle, it's it's acting like a throttle, but and a throttle that just repeats. So when it hits the end at full, it just resets back to um, the smallest value. And that really messes with MAME, at least the way I had it set up. Maybe I don't have it set up properly. Um, because the way it works is like, say I booted up like um, Arkanoid. If I turn the controller, it's like putting the throttle up. And the instead, when you stop, the, sh the uh, paddle doesn't stop. It just keeps moving. Um, so that's something I need to figure out. Uh, so it's not 100% perfect as of yet, but plugging it right into a computer using the joystick as a joystick works fantastic. It really does. The paddle stuff needs to be ironed out. Um, connecting it with Steam needs to be ironed out. Now, what I mentioned earlier in the video that I had like $30 in my mind as to what I paid for this. And I actually went back into Indiegogo to see, and sure enough, it was $29.00 plus about $4 shipping that I paid for this thing. So did I get my money's worth? Absolutely. I For $34 or $33 with shipping, um, I would buy this again. Now, I went on to the Atari VCS page to see how much, uh, because they're doing pre-orders for this, released spring 2021. And this actually goes for $59 on there. Now, in the state that it's in right now, I don't know about $59. I really don't. Um, because the only thing that is working 100% really is the joystick. You know, you can use this as the paddle and wirelessly. And it mentioned rumble function. And I didn't feel any rumble function whatsoever. But then again, I really wasn't playing anything that supported that. Um, I would wait for $59 to see in the future how this all works out. Uh I mean, maybe like with a PC, I, with the Atari VCS, I'm sure it's all working just fine and dandy. This thing was made specifically for the VCS, but for anything else, like I bought it for, yeah, it's pretty cool to be playing this with as a joystick for emulating 2600 games. It would have been nice if I could have booted up Steam and um, just instantly had Steam detect this, which it didn't. Uh, again, that might be something on my end, I'm not sure. It just I just could not get it to see this controller at all, so nothing in Steam worked whatsoever. Would have been nice to try out the Atari Vault games in there, but a lot of those are 2,600 games I could emulate through Stella anyway. <laughs> uh, but it would have been nice like that, and also uh, arcade games. But then again, I got MAME for arcade games, and the joystick for MAME works just fine with that. It's just the paddle stuff I'd like to get working. You know, it'd be nice to try and use this with Arkanoid, uh, Breakout, uh, you know, just this, you know, driving games even, see how well that works with driving games. But I just could not get this to work with... I tried Tempest as well. Tempest didn't... It did the same thing. You turn it a little bit, and the thing just flies around infinitely uh, until you recenter it. But yeah, um, for what I paid for this, well worth the money. 
$59. I don't know. <laughs> um, and if it looks like I'm looking a little bit off key here, it's because my screen is up here, but my camera's down here. Sorry about that, but I, I, I know I, this, I probably rambled on long enough about this thing. I'm pleased with it, but for $59, I'm not so sure I would have been pleased with it. Let's just put it that way. Uh, who knows, in a couple more months, this may be a completely different story. I, I th it can only get better from here, right? So, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Catch it now. Come on. Come on, you guys. Step over here. Oh, oh. Come on. Oh, wait. Ah, come on. And it's really weird that Kaboom is having... Why, why didn't he catch it? It just helped hold the button, right?